Uh, you're a, a senior policy advisor at number 10. I am, yes. Uh, could, you, could you take us through some of the issues involved? I think the first thing to say is that the uh, single European currency is the most important and the most agonizing uh, dilemma to have faced any British government uh, since Grandma caught her tits in the mangle. <laughs> Joint. That's not the question. Isn't it? No. <laughs> I see. So, um... <coughs> no, because the, uh, the reason is that, uh, because of John Major's negotiations at Maastricht, we don't have to join unless we want to. So, the question is, do we want to? Uh, no, that's not the question either. <laughs> Isn't it? No. So, I mean, what have Ken Clark and Sir Nicholas Bonsall been arguing about this week? That is a good question. I think that uh, <laughs> it's about two fundamentally opposed and passionately held viewpoints. One is that we are genuinely putting off uh, taking a decision until later. And the other is that we are only pretending to genuinely put it off and that we are <laughs> just really putting off saying no. <laughs> so if we're only <laughs> putting off saying no, mm. uh, why don't we just come out and say it now? Well, there are two reasons for that. Um, there's uh, the reason I'm going to give you, and there's the real reason, which would you like. <laughs> what, what is the well, difference? The, uh, there is a difference. The real reason is, of course, to preserve the appearance of unity in the Conservative Party. To keep Douglas yes. Hurd and Edward Heath and the Europhiles on port. I yes. see that, yes. And, uh, uh, but the, the other reason is that if we say no now, we shall have no influence on the European negotiations about how the single currency is going to be implemented. But uh, why would we want to influence it if we're, if we're not going to join it? Uh, we don't. <laughs> but if we don't join the negotiations, people will think that we've already made up our minds not to join. <laughs> <laughs> and they would be wrong in thinking that? Not necessarily. <laughs> <laughs> so we're not putting off saying yes that's a possibility. <laughs> so either we're putting off saying yes, or we're putting off saying no, or we're putting off deciding. Yes, we've narrowed it down to those three. <laughs> <laughs> and in the end, I mean, what do you think the government will decide? Well, in the end, the government won't decide anything because uh, we'll have a referendum, that will decide it. <laughs> but the government, of course, will have to make up its mind. But not now, later. <laughs> well, if, if later, why not now? Well, because the government's got to have a policy later. Um, Eventually. Well, it'll look bad if they don't. <laughs> why would it? Well, because that's what governments do. They have policies. <laughs> <laughs> so you will have a policy then, but you haven't got one now. Uh, no, that's completely wrong. That is the policy. <laughs> <laughs> what is? to have a policy then and not have a policy now. <laughs> See, that, that's how the misunderstanding has arisen. Oh, I see. I see. Yes. So, that, so that people were arguing about a policy when there wasn't an argue, uh, a policy to, 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 to argue about. Yes, exactly. So they're, they're bound to get some confusion, you see, about it. Because you can't have an argument about a policy which, as a matter of policy, doesn't exist. <laughs> well, I can see that. Yes. <laughs> and, and, and also, if it's, if it's so important, they shouldn't have been arguing about it. No, no. I mean, in fact, it's so important, they shouldn't really have been thinking about it. <laughs> Gosh, that's a load off my mind, Sir George. <laughs>